this residency has been a really great chance to get to know Vienna and feel the energy here. I think there's a lot of creative energy. There's always something going on in the arts and I've met so many wonderful people through that. So it's just been a great experience. The project that I've been doing here in Vienna is to create an installation that is um, about rock glaciers in the Austrian Alps. Um, and the way that I'm doing that is using sand that I've collected from certain rock glaciers and then activating them and creating sculptures, sort of frozen sculptures out of them. And then filming those sculptures as a way of uh, kind of commenting on time, deep time, human time, and the relationship um, that we have with the, the mountains, the city and the mountains. Um, so I took that sand and I took water from the Donau Canal and I combined them and then I froze them into these interesting shapes that somehow resemble the rock glaciers in some small way, not exactly. It's not super scientific, it's an artistic interpretation for sure. And so I've placed the resulting videos of those into um, an installation, a media installation in the Asifa Kyle, which is a, a space in the museum's courtier. And, and that is, um, it's sort of meant to be a place where if you're walking by and you're normal, kind of like walking through on your way to something, maybe it catches your eye, maybe you stop for a minute, you put the headphones on and you hear this beautiful soundtrack that was created by my collaborator, Max. Um, and, and it gives you just a moment to kind of take a breath um, because there's so much sort of stress and anxiety around climate change and I think that to actually be productive in our conversation about it, sometimes we have to step back our perspective and like take a take a moment to be like, okay, you know, we need to do something, but we need to think about it from a kind of more extended timeline than just what is the, you know, small immediate action that we do. And maybe that will help us come up with some more creative solutions to, to the problem. Um, that that might actually help us survive as a species. <laughs> I am trying to give that moment, like that brief moment of um, almost meditation, um, of clarity maybe that comes from slowing down um, when you breathe with the glacial forms that are in the animation. You don't even really have to think about it. You just naturally start to match yourself with that rhythm. And that's a feeling that maybe I get when I'm out in the mountains and surrounded by nature. It's a reminder, I think, in the midst of the busyness of the city and intenseness of the city that there is a way to slow down just a minute and that that minute is not going to cost you the rest of your day. If that's what happens, if people sort of, whether they know that they're matching their breath to it intentionally or unintentionally, or if they're not matching their breath, but they think they are, kind of all of those results are all the same to me. It's sort of that, that feeling of um, having a brief moment of connection with something natural and, and alive. Sand is important to me, I think, because it's so connected to place, um, especially in my more recent work, I think the fact that the sand that I used is collected from a specific place, um, it's different for every project. Sometimes sand is given to me by people from a place that's special to them, or it's a place that I've visited. 
And so, I mean, particularly here in Austria, the sand that I'm using is collected from the base of glaciers and rock glaciers in Austria. And so um, I think there's that kind of both geological and historical connection to the earth, but also that connection to the natural world, which has always been something that has been a thread through my work, even without sand. I would say like when I started with sand, I started kind of more thinking it just as a material to draw with and to, to move. And I liked the way it moved. But more recently, I've been looking more at its qualities kind of on a more microscopic level. Looking closely at a grain of sand tells you, gives you a little hint to its story, its, its geological history. Um, and it's uh, it, the way that it has kind of moved through the earth from the center of the earth up to the top of the mountain or maybe down the mountain through erosion and onto a beach or into a desert. That sort of smallness of the tiny grains of sand and seeing all of those details and thinking about that bigger story and that bigger timeline uh, helps me shift myself out of a human perspective. And I think that's what a lot of my work is about. I knew a lot of people here already, and so I kind of had, through the animation world, I had a established network that I wanted to strengthen and, and um, expand and really spend some time kind of working with these people here through ASIFA Austria and through Tricky Women Film Festival and, um, and just kind of meet more of the animators that uh, are here in Austria. And so that was a big draw. Also, like, I, I just love mountains, I love the Alps, and I wanted to, I've been studying kind of glaciers and rock glaciers, and there's a lot of rock glaciers in the Alps. And so it seemed like a really good kind of place to investigate that topic, in part because I think Austrian culture is so connected, both economically, but also just like long-term culture and inhabitation of the Alps. I met a, um, another artist at an opening here, um, Martina Schoeni, and she's been, she had done an artwork where she actually swam from Vienna to Bratislava um, for, a, for a project. And, and um, in connection with that, she had started an ice swimming group. And so there's a group of, of people, mostly artists, who go and they swim in the Donau Canal in the middle of winter. And so I joined them <laughs> and I went swimming and it was, I believe the water was eight degrees and the wind was blowing, but we were all there kind of in our swimsuits and we got in very slowly and we like, you know, got in and we swam a couple meters and then we got out. <laughs> but um, it was just a really nice time. And then we all went back to her studio and we had tea and soup and warmed up and had nice conversation and stuff. And so, yes, I've been swimming in the Donau Canal a couple times actually um, in the very, very cold uh, water coming down from the mountains, far away in the mountains, and just felt like that was a nice experience. <laughs>